Yeah, it works. Cool. Hey guys, it's Permian here, and um, I'm going to give you a tutorial today on how to projection map onto a toilet using VDMX5. So uh, check it out. Okay, so you're going to need to go to the um, VDMX5 website and download the trial version and then you're going to need to get some uh, Cause Composer patches and I'll uh, show you how to do that all in a sec. So um, let's make some clips and uh, check it out. So what you're going to need to do now is go to the Vidvox website, which are the company that makes VDMX5 and download the trial version. The trial version is completely full. Uh, it's got everything um, that the board version has, it's just that you can't save your presets. Um, so you can still use it for this project. Then you just need to go and get um, to Quartz Composer patches, which are like effects you can uh, attach to your layers. And just go vdmx.memo.tv and scroll down to the MSA Quad Warp and Quad Mask in Quartz Composer patches. Now once you've downloaded these, you just need to drag them into your QCFX folder in your VDMX like program files. Okay, so we'll just go open VDMX5. Um, you should have that installed. And we'll hit new project. And it's pretty uh, pretty open platform, so you can uh, drag as many windows as you need and different types of windows. But I'll show you the ones you need for this. Um, so we're gonna need, uh, we'll go with four layers. Although you can have as many up to a thousand, um, but it's going to be very hard to control if you go over about 10, 10 layers. Um, then we're going to need to look at plugins. And what we're going to need is a media bin. And that's what you use to trigger and look at your video clips. Uh, and then we're going to need uh, the last one is going to be. Have a look here. What do I need? Preview window. And then we're going to need our layer controls. And you're probably going to need as many layer controls as layers you have. So I'm going to open up four here. We'll just uh, rearrange them. And they click together like that. And then you're just going to need to assign each layer control to each layer. Okay, now you've done that, we're going to have to go to uh, Video FX. And this is where you'll find those um, two Quartz Composer patches that you uh, chucked in your QCFX folder earlier. And they'll be under Quartz Composer FX. And what you want to do is uh, put your quad warp and your quad mask on all your layers. Um, for this project, I didn't actually use any quad masks because they're only really useful for if you're projection mapping onto sort of like square shapes. Uh, for this one, I just used uh, quad warp on all floor layers. Okay, now you've got them on all your layers. You see the actual effect settings down here and that's when we're going to open up our files and I've already made some uh, clips from this and to do that I just um, took a photo of the toilet that I'm going to project onto um, in exactly the same uh, angle that the projector is going to be projecting and then I just uh, used masks and uh, different settings in um, after Effects to manipulate those layers and create some clips and I'll show you these clips now. Toilet. Uh, final shots. So I'll just um, input these and just go open and that will show up in your media bin. Okay. 
Okay, so say if we hit layer one. Oh, we want to set our shortcuts for every layer. So just click on that and click on the key for easy control of your layers. There we go. So I'll click one and then I can click on a layer and it will open up. And you've got the moving time and the speed here. Uh, well, like that. And we'll just uh, pause it for the moment. And now essentially what you do is you just click on the layer that it's on and you just got to manipulate all four corners of your clip and so you see bottom left X and uh, bottom left Y um, and when you're projecting down onto your scene you just uh, light it up and that's pretty simple so now once you've done all that uh, there are a few things you can do to make your triggering easy. Um, you can just use a keyboard, but uh, I've got one of these. It's a Korg Nano Control, or any MIDI control will do. And they integrate really well into uh, VDMX5 here. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the play button, start MIDI detect. Then once we've done that, we just click on any button or slider and it'll sync up. So as you can see, the movie's playing as soon as I hit that button. Um, and then we're going to need to change the layer opacity and uh, connect it with the MIDI device. So we're going to start MIDI detect again and we slide it. As you can see I'm uh, sliding the MIDI controller and it's uh, adjusting the image's opacity. And that's a really easy way and you just uh, connect up all of your clips like that. Say so you want to do another one. So as you can see in this clip, I've uh, masked out a shadow of where the toilet is. So uh, when I project it onto the toilet, there'll be darkness around the toilet, yet the pattern um, waving. And it'll create a really uh, use luminous lines to um, to sort of like come out of the shadows. If we just uh, can trigger your clips, make a cut to project. Another useful thing is to actually uh, chuck in what is called a uh, fader. So it's a two channel mixer. Just double click on it. And this is really simple. So all you do is you say, hey, I want layer one and layer two, and I'm going to be switching between them. And then you assign the crossfader to, say, one of these. And as you can see, it'll fade in between the two really really simple setup and uh, I'll uh, show you some other clips from it right now I almost forgot um, to get your projection onto the uh, actual projection screen you just gotta uh, drag your output window over and uh, hit command F and it'll go full screen and start projecting the images. Um, so that's about it in a nutshell. If you're unclear about anything or you need any help, just uh, give me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, a lot of corporations and uh, advertising companies use this technique to uh, sell their products so I think it's really important that you guys out there use it to um, subvert that and use it to tell your own stories and put a message in your own projections and don't just use it for like another fucking demo reel nobody needs to see that so yeah i hope you guys get out there and get creating some awesome shit okay i'll catch you guys later bye